ആനന്ദമായി എന്നറിവായി അമൃതവുമായി ബാണന്ദമാന വടിയുടെയാൾ മറൈ നാൻകിനുക്കും താനന്ദമാന ശരണാരവിന്ദം തവളനിറക്കാനന്ദം ആടരംഗാം എമ്പുരാൻ മുടിക്കണ്ടിയത് ലോങ് ടൈം അഗു sung this hymn actually he had done hundreds of these it's called abhirami patel his celebration coming in the new moon of this month maybe in 10 days time so he says if you want to be happy the knowledge is away ananda maya nariva so let me so today is the first day the vice chancellor meet you maybe in the vice chancellor was me may not likely me <laughs> the last day the vice chancellor meet you and garland you in your graduation day so let me set the scene of the whole process of five years of duration how is going to be so long time ago for four and a half billion years ago according to shastra as well as science from cambridge stephen hawkins this universe originated from a single point singularity is mathematically we call singularity since that time this universe is expanding it's not stagnant it's dynamic and you know this earth goes around the sun in 107000 km per hour is unimaginable speed no noise no service no maintenance the jignari mass is evolving around so it's a dynamic setup where the whole universe is infinite there are so many galaxies celestial objects and so on and so forth but we are in a small planet wonderful planet there is no evidence even by nasa and all the exploration space exploration no evidence for water or anything they say sometimes the water there sometimes air there there is not even a evidence for life but this planet is full of life so we have a biological science devoted for life sciences the biochemist professor is here he was a former vice chancellor so this faculty is now 44 years old 78 i entered the university then faculty also originated so most senior people here professor arasadam professor subhan and myself witnessing the whole you know the progress of this faculty the journey of this faculty last 44 years so we witness very hard times turbulent times but with all the sacrifice of the prestigious we sustain this so we pay the way for you to come in and take up your professional life starting your professional life so in this universe this earth planet is wonderful unimaginable full of life full of science full of knowledge and so on and so forth here we have two set up terrestrial aquatic more lives in aquatic than terrestrial so sharks are there whales are there turtles are there so many things are there in the aquatic environment but at the same time terrestrial environment also there are many life forms among all these the human form is the one of the best form is a very rare form i don't know its evolution and charles Darwin and all these stories are there, but we testify this. We we witness this. So in this form also, in the aquatic there is no universities, no auditoriums, no kitchen technology, no mail technology, nothing there. No schools, but is wonderfully maintained. I don't know even no factories. Microbes are the food. so wonderfully thriving 
the balance is maintained. But here for human beings, we build schools, we build temples, we, we build courts, we build so many things because we are intellectual beings, not physically alone. We are more than a physical being. So for intellectual being, we build medical faculties. The history of the medical faculties in Sri Lanka goes to Jaffna. The origination coming from somewhere very close. You may visit and see in your hospital a museum maintained. You can witness that the South Asia first medical school formed in, in this part of the world 100 years ago, 120 years ago. Even Jaffna Medical Association is 80 years old, more than any universities in Sri Lanka. So you have come to the place, we have a rich, rich tradition of not the traditional indigenous medicine, western medicine. Okay, the missionary brought, them, brought it to Jaffna. Similarly, education. So this is an educational hub. Even today, we have evolved to the level of steering the UGC in the medical sciences, Madam steering the standing committee of the medical sciences. So one of our professor is now leading, steering the medical studies in the country. We have been interested. So that means we have been delivering. Japna is famous for that. So in this place, human have problem most. There is no living entities in the world commit suicide. In any desperate situation. I don't, I don't know, maybe you know. But the only the human beings. So they have problem. I don't know. It may be artificial problem, but they are emotional beings. I know we have emotional problem in this place also. Even the university with the top echelon people, we have these issues. So that's what the Surendra Kumar said. You know, before a calf take birth, the milk bag of the cow is full. It's ready to be delivered. Similarly, you are coming here, we know. We have been planning for this over the years. The curriculum is ready, revised. A lot of people are recruited. Now is a wonderful time in the University of Jaffna, the medical faculty. It is fully equipped as well as men. The academy staff is now flooding in because this center is now become famous. There was a time, I know Madam Time, Sua Balancer Time, they was, we were sending our graduates, even Surendra Kumar and all our graduates were sent to other universities to get their professorial appointment done. Now things have been changed. Maybe other university people are coming here. So we have been expanding, we are developing and also the situation became very favorable. So when, when the opportunity comes, we crap on this. So this now is a different scenario, this place. So where, as a human beings, what we like to have, all human beings, we want to be happy, irrespective of our profession, irrespective of our knowledge, irrespective of our wealth, irrespective of our, uh, you know, our tall or fat or short or big or whatever. We all want to be happy. So how do we become happy? That is ananda. We all want to joy. We want to enjoy joy. So that purpose now, the public fund at this place, is a big money is, is spinning in this place from the public treasury vote. So to shape the life of the people, we want to bring pleasure to the people. For that purpose, we have many faculties. So one of the faculties is a medical faculty. So knowledge brings happiness. So and also in the knowledge domain, as a professor of mathematics, I know knowledge expanding in exponential growth. That is doubling of knowledge. You know, you, you study radioactivity. So losing of mass, decay of mass is happening in half time. So 8 kilogram become 4 kilogram in a particular year, then half time is become another half, half property loss. Similarly, knowledge expanding in exponentially. That means doubling time is halving. More journals, more publications, more multidisciplinary interaction. Recently I was sitting for a professorship of our Kumarendra. So he has Orders coming from more than 10-15 hours from all disciplines, mathematicians, statisticians, 
the vice chancellor of columbia university jinnan ops people community medicine people so now is a multidisciplinary affair so for that purpose we are ready that's what we have been planning is not medical science maybe 25 years ago very different from now is multidisciplinary even your diagnostic part or maintenance part so many techniques so many equipments so that is what happening now so for that purpose we had to may we had to commit ourselves to be ready with this as a freshers without you are coming nothing happen in this place so you are coming bring the fragrance to this place you are coming is very important that's what we want to embrace you and welcome you and we had the privilege to have in the best of best of best student coming to this discipline because the sat score 1.8 1.9 means i know as a mathematician i know it's a cream of cream of cream is the first 4% of the people in this country in this you know your whole court when they were commencing the education in the hindu garden 300 400 000 would have been started now only the handful of 1500 got this into the medical discipline that is i always say is a bottleneck you get out of the bottleneck you got out of the bottleneck it's a very tough process and you succeeded it then it's a time to relax and where in the tertiary education in the university you develop self learning this is a place where you develop your originality your scholarship your potential for research the potential for self you know searching discoveries so as a human being our thirst for knowledge is innate even the children keep on asking question sometimes we got bored we got even irritated because they kept on this inquiring 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 so thirst for knowledge is innate that's what the human beings built schools even not only the western type even those days this kurugula um, things were started because to quench the thirst of the knowledge then 1000 years ago university start given ultra seneca this oxonian they start one of the oldest universities in the world is a 900 years old our university in sri lanka is 70 years old 80 years old only the humanities now recently celebrated 100 years of celebration so you just imagine they are 900 years old so they 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 have this tradition they also attract from people from all over the world even the job top young brains goes there and do research i know some so many japna university student they did phd's and all sort of post doctoral studies in oxford and cambridge and other universities in harvard and everywhere because that's the way is get invited because the academic freedom means not going home early academic freedom you don't have a barriers you will be given a global passport you can go to any country and do the research even the monarchy time you can go anywhere no no barriers the visas are given so that you could do so these are all starting i think you as a human being i told you i my master used to tell me knowledge bring happiness then the second component for happiness is service service bring happiness so what is the best service i think mending the body the wonderful machine so medical sciences is a great service i think our um dr raj mahar is here he was western educated as well as indigenous educated he is both qualified so those kind of service so service again for what definition for pleasure my master used to tell me is a between two pains so the doctor will come and give you the more pleasurable time because you can relieve the pain so that we all be happy so in the medical service you are committing yourself is a big undertaking and for our part also university and i told you this is already we are committed to the public the funding come and also our staffs are committed and take, taken this uh, mandate to deliver the best of best of best professional training to you so even in the training 
We have been digging with the World Bank money how it should be in the 21st century. The 21st century, the people should be knowledge based, people should be scale based, skill based, people should be, you know, their mindset to be in the right mindset. Then they should be have the virtues, values. So for this purpose, now I know medical faculty curriculum, they have been trying very hard. They introduce so many other components, professional personality development as a part of the training in there. And recently the community medicine people are thinking about the student research because they want to expose. This was, this is going to happen in the second of next month. I think our people are working on it. So even undergraduate will be given a chance to expose to the most, you know, the Everest to Himalaya type of terrain in the professional life. That is a research. For that purpose also we want to give it when you are young. So you can imagine this medical faculty run 24 hours, in my opinion. 24 hours, like as the London city, the city of London, 24 hours, never shut down. Similarly, these faculty runs. So you daytime you come and you work and the doctors work and then they go. They have to look at the patients. Then they prepare for your education in the night and then they come in the morning. So only the resting for just to relax the body. Other than that, they keep on working. I know this. This is the, what this profession is. This undertaking is. While you are steering seat, I know. You can't sleep. Only you take a break. Then you come and sit again. So in this knowledge business, this is the shrine of knowledge, University of Japna. It has a great tradition. And is known for, because the, 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 the part of the land is coming from, known for hard work. I used to tell, the thirst, you know, thirst for knowledge. How do you quench the thirst? You know, we in the eighty percent of our body is full of water. So how how do you get the water? We don't have rivers. We don't have ponds. Even in Anuradhapura, there are two thousand five hundred ponds. But people are not drinking water from the ponds. They are using the bottled water because they have they have issues. They have issues because the people diverted the Mahavali into the land and the sediment there. Now 2,500 ponds are there, no drinking water. For the, how the Japna man uh, uh, managed this, all these 3,000 years? They dig the well. They dig the well. Every home in Japna has the well. Similarly, you know, this, man, this, this place is known for hard work. You just imagine, we produce the best of best onions, best of best uh, chilies, best of best fruits. Yes. We, we had trouble, but we never suffered. No one died of starving in this place, all these 30 years of war. Because the resilient, resilience, that is our blood. So ladies and gentlemen, you are young blood, new blood to our faculty. So 175 people, it's wonderful. So another graduation coming, it's a March 2nd and 3rd. 2,500, 3,000 graduates are leaving. So you are coming in. So you are adding value addition. I think you are, this new generation of people are better than the old generation. I don't know. Because they are skilled in the IT. And they want to be modern. They want to be global people. I know, your aspiration. You want to go to America. You want to go to England. You want to dance. You want to play. Because this world is for young people. So we know that, not, not like old tradition. So period of learning is the period of Pramacharya, we call it, is from young time, adolescent time. So you are in the verge of entering the adolescent time, adolescent time and you are terminating your tertiary education, you are entering a new chapter. So this is something like, you know, the last two days of the test match, where you concentrate very hard. Very hard. You hope in the football, one and a half hours football match, the second half or third half, tertiary, third level of education, there's no time for resting. You know, you have to be, you have to play. Because if you get a class, then you become academic. I know the academics here, 
they recruited because they shine in undergraduate studies. Not for everybody. Even medical stream, you you get you are yourself qualified. So then you have more choice in your life. So you get first class distinctions so that you have your choice. Otherwise you will be restricted. So ladies and gentlemen, so this day of your life is a kind of a day you are starting your first leave of the entire book for five years. So you keep on writing. That is you write. Make your day count. Whether corona comes, shutdown comes, lockdown comes, don't run to home. I think in the West, after 18 years, the parent doesn't want to see, do, do not want to see their kids coming to home. They want their kids going and uh, exploring the world. Backpackers, culture is there. Even with one bag, they leave one plastic cart and explore. So it's a time for exploration. Don't bring this homesickness, that sickness, and this will di diminish your potential. So your potential should be readily used. Maximum utilization. That is, I am one of the professors, my area of research is optimization. Optimization, mathematical optimization. So even the nature optimize. Why Apple fell when the Newton was sitting? It won't minimize the energy. That's the way the nature works. So optimize your presence in this place. So be always in the lecture theater or laboratory or playground or your community engagement. That is a community medicine department, one of the best thriving department in this faculty of medicine. I am very proud. And they have a lot of work they are doing. So you can engage yourself. So not just, so not just uh, you know, managing your education. I think the great potential is there. The God has blessed you because it's a without blessing you can't come here because that is there, already there. And then you have entered into the one of the top faculties in the country and also the masters, you know, the teachers, they are the gurus. By definition, guru means the one bring happiness again. Again, that's a definition. So how? They are going to impart knowledge. So everything is ready. Now is the time for joining. Without joining, there is no noise. I think you play your part, and as administrators, we play our part, and the madam also in the UGC, they will play their, their emotions, and get in a lot of issues, and they disturb others also. When one disturbed guy is there in the home, then the family whole family get disturbed. So even the students, one issue can prompt uh, entire stories about the faculty. This is time to time happening. So I really want all of you, my masters you say in the flower garden, all the roses are blossoming. But one rose got burned, everyone talk about that one. Not the all the one blossoming. So this happened to our faculty also. Time to time, even on the staff, we have this problem. They radiate some bad energy, some of them. I know, as a manager of this university I know. So we are not telling that. So try to minimize this. I know the perfect world is here. Minimize this. So I advise, I know I, uh, my, uh, my friend Balakumar, when he was a dean, he used to tell me, when the student failed, I asked him, what, what happened? Because he, he, the madam and he are going to start the biochemistry lectures. He said, this guy gets vanished every weekend. They don't come back to lectures. And they minimize, manage, they trying to manage this. So when they manage this, then the contradiction comes. So I really want the medical faculty have hostels, the medical faculty have the super alumni. Not only support the faculty, even the doctors after passing out, then they go to foreign training, they invite them. They cater them in the uh, abroad. Yes, even their professional life, they help them. Our alumni is in Australia, UK, even I address in the US, Canada, everywhere. Even Colombo, everywhere. I don't know, they have the passion. Because they know service brings happiness. Whenever the opportunity comes, they serve. So I know a lot of friends. So you are in a wonderfully catered, not only like your parents. Now university is a family. University is a family. So we are, you are part of the family. So there are so many people are there willing to help you. Only thing you had to knock. That's what Narendra Kumar said. You had to tell your problems. Go and report your problems. Not problems. Report what you want. 
Because otherwise we all think we, everything is okay. So don't be shy. The Eastern culture is a problem. They don't tell their, their thing. So thank you very much ladies and gentlemen. So this is my privilege and for the faculty this is a very mo most important moment of the 2022. I think we are one of the earliest one inviting the freshers. I know with the corona you would have come in the November or October. Now it's got delayed but better we started now. Despite today also we have uh, some other issues. So thank you very much. So this is uh, on behalf of the university. I really warmly extend our welcome and also want to be, we are very happy that you are going to be our value addition, the new blood. So with, the, with your coming, I get smart. I get rejuvenated. Not only me, the whole university. Thank you very much. I wish you all the best. May God bless you all. Thank you.